Morning. Welcome to Electromagnetic Radiation News, Volume 1, Issue 10, September 26, 2020. One of the articles or people I regularly follow on Twitter is Louis Selson's Microwave News. A number of very interesting articles to follow in there. At his le well, last uh, two weeks, he's come out with some very interesting ones that are very worthwhile reading and so let's take a look at them uh, this is the recent one that he published five wave five g waveforms in dispute we'll take a look at that in a minute but first a little bit about uh, microwave news louis selson has been in i guess you could say the microwave business for 40 years looking at the various problems that are caused by it. Now, he has a number of very interesting articles, uh, archives, etc. on his main page, but let's go back and take a look at the one that he's put out on Twitter just recently. This one is looking at the effect of the averaging of wave time or times of heating as most people know microwave radiation is in its current form is usually a pulsed form of radiation and can have quite a high intensity in each small pulse as long as according to the ignorant standards it doesn't exceed a certain amount that can cause heating but the spike heating is becoming quite a concern as this uh, article raises. Now, since the article was published in the journal, a Kenneth Foster has written a criticism of the article. And I think we should take a close look at Kenneth Foster. That well, let's go down to here that Foster's research has been funded and supported by the mobile and wireless forum that we can hardly call him an independent researcher which his comments you have to take with a grain of salt now the second article that I'd like to bring up to everyone's attention is this one about uh, RF interference with pilots in the American Armed Forces, in particular, they're raising it with microwave radiation. Well, it seems there's been a number of crashes by uh, pilots and incidents that they're beginning to feel may be associated with the amount of radiation in the cockpits. Now, this is a becomes a much more s serious concern when one thinks about uh, they're also loading up cars with a large amount of bluetooth and etc in the cars that is that going to become a cause of crashes in the near future it's just blaming everything on AI may not be the full solution or the full problem with some of these car crashes in the future that I've had many people actually comment about the headaches they're getting from driving their cars now because of the electromagnetic radiation that they are feeling within the cars and that problem is only get, going to get worse. <laughs> 